is Jeopardy. Turn an on-site or virtual event into a fun quiz-style game using Team Battle and the special edition Conferences.io Jeopardy game slides. To download the Jeopardy game PowerPoint slide deck, click the link in the step-by-step -step guide. This will open the file in Dropbox in a new tab. Click the download icon and select Direct Download from the menu and save the PowerPoint file to your computer. You'll also need to have the Conferences.io PowerPoint add-in for Mac or Windows installed on your computer. If the add-in hasn't been installed, click the Windows or Mac link in the step-by-step -step guide for more information. The PowerPoint Jeopardy slides were designed to work in tandem with your Team Battle session in Conferences.io. If you're not familiar with the standard Team Battle quiz game, please visit our support portal and search Team Battle for additional details. In the PowerPoint Jeopardy board, we'll be entering six categories and five Jeopardy clues for each. And finally, we'll also add our Team Battle live content slide. Then in Team Battle, we're going to enter the multiple choice answers and dollar values that correspond with each of the Jeopardy clues. To set up the PowerPoint Jeopardy slides, start by entering a category on slides four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Next, Jump to the main Jeopardy board on slide number 11 and enter the categories again in the top row. You'll want to enter the six categories in the same order they were added to slides four through nine. Now that the categories have been added, jump to slide number 12 and enter the $100 Jeopardy clue for the first category, which in this case is 80s trivia. Continue by adding the $200 Jeopardy clue for the first category in slide number 13 and continue until all the clues have been added and click Save. In Conferences.io, join Team Battle as a moderator. If you already know the teams that'll be playing Jeopardy, you can create them now or you can wait until later. You can also select an option for the automatic question timer. You'll remember only the Jeopardy categories and clues or quiz questions were added to the Jeopardy PowerPoint slides. So in Team Battle, we'll need to enter the multiple choice answers and the dollar value for each question. To get started, click Create New Question. To make moderating the game easier, instead of entering the Jeopardy question, enter the category and dollar value instead. The players will be seeing the Jeopardy question in your PowerPoint Jeopardy slides, so you don't need to add it here as well. But by entering the category and dollar amount instead, the moderator will be able to quickly find and open the multiple choice answers that correspond with each Jeopardy question a player selects. In this case, the $100 Jeopardy clue in the first category, 80s trivia, was this is the year Air Jordan sneakers were first released. So I'll enter 80s trivia 100 as the question. For the multiple choice answers, I'll enter 1982, 1983, 1984, and 1985 and I'll mark 1984 as the correct answer. And finally, I'll enter 100 as the point value and click Create Question. When you're done, you should have 30 questions in total. Now that the game has been set up in both the PowerPoint slides and Team Battle, the only thing left to do before playing the game is to download the Team Battle live content slide and add it to the Jeopardy PowerPoint slides. Return to the Session in Conferences.io and click Session Settings. Click Add Live Content to Presentation Slides and select either Windows PowerPoint or Mac. Then download all live content slides. Open both your Jeopardy PowerPoint slides and the live content slides file. You'll then want to replace the Jeopardy slide number 10 with the Team Battle live content slide. After you drag and drop or copy and paste the Team Battle Live Content slide and make sure it's in the number 10 position, delete the placeholder slide and save. We found it helpful to have one person acting as the game host while another moderates in Team Battle. The game host will share their screen and use Presenter View to display the PowerPoint Jeopardy board to players and run the game, while the moderator joins Team Battle in Conferences.io to open each question, show the correct answer, and update the leaderboard. So while it's possible for one person to host Jeopardy and moderate simultaneously, it can get a little tricky. When you're ready, 
have players join their assigned teams and select a team captain to be their spokesperson to choose Jeopardy clues from the board. Players can join the game from a mobile device, tablet, or a separate browser window. To start the game, either have the host pick the first clue or a selected team at random. After this, the winner of each question will choose the next category and dollar amount. When a player selects the clue on the game board, the game host will click the corresponding box. This will automatically advance the PowerPoint slides to reveal the correct Jeopardy clue. While the host reads the Jeopardy clue aloud, the moderator should find the question in Team Battle and click the plus sign. After the Jeopardy clue has been read, the host must click the trophy button while the moderator clicks Open Question. This will automatically advance to slide number 10, your live content slide, which will reveal the multiple choice answer options and allow your players to select an answer on their device. When the moderator clicks Show Correct Answer, the answer is highlighted on the screen. Then, by clicking Score the Results, the leaderboard is displayed and updated in real time. The game host can then return to the main Jeopardy board in PowerPoint by advancing to the next slide using either their mouse or right arrow key.